Well, look, this is a gesture because we have 1,700 customers here. And Rushcard, who funded this, uh, wanted to uh, alert the 1,700 customers where to get water and deliver some directly to our supporters or our customers. But we want other service providers and corporations to join us in this effort uh, to, to make their customers and people that they do business with whole. So Nikija, this is this is a a, a test a test for what? Yeah, that's the filter they gave us. This is the filter yeah. thing in Michigan there. That's the filter they gave you. When they give you that filter? Um, I received that filter. I want to say two months ago. And when they gave you that filter, did they say that it would that it, it worked for everything? Yes. Okay. If so I put this in here, that's one thirty-five plus being zero. zero. It's hard to get up and relocate right then and there, so, but I'm planning on. So you've been here a month before this was discovered. Yeah. And this happened to your child in a month. Yeah. Imagine what could happen to a child in years. Yeah. And let me say this, just to finish up this point, for talking about justice, and there's nothing any of the medical professionals tell us we can ever do to reverse the effects of lead poisoning. It is real, it is the cousin to cancer, and so we have to call it what it is and say, now how can we prevent this from ever happening again? And what can we do to try best to give you some sense of justice, knowing that we're not God that can go take the poison back out of you. But with that said, as American citizens, it wouldn't happen in Governor Snyder's neighborhood. Exactly. Why should it happen to Flint? And they say this is a racial matter. They're right. The human race. Because this was a crime against the white people who live in Flint, the Hispanic people, and the African American. But the water has impacted my life because like I cook a lot and like say I want to unthaw some chicken or something I gotta go and you gotta put it in a big bowl I gotta like use like four bottles of water just to just to unthaw the chicken and I've never been the type to like break out or something but like I've like my whole life I don't get acne but like lately my face been like bumping up and stuff. And that was a long time ago before these cameras started popping. That's right. But in all honesty, many people did not know of our struggle in Flint. So we get all these people together, we create the kind of awareness that will help Attorney Crump and will help the town. But really, what's better late than never.